Here's how you graph the equation y equals 2 minus x. We'll start out with the table of values, then we use slope-intercept form. So for y equals 2 minus x, we can put any value in for x, then we get a value for y, then we can graph it. That'll be on our graph here. So let's start out with 0. You can use anything you want, but I like 0 because 2 minus 0, though that's just 2. How about x is 1? 2 minus 1, that's just 1. And let's put 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So these are the points we're going to graph here. So let's see. We have x is 0, y is 2. So x is 0, y is 2, right there. We have x is 1, y is 1. x is 1, y is 1. And then x is 2, y is 0. x is 2, y is 0. There's our line. Let's put a line through it. And that's the graph for y equals 2 minus x. Let's put up some arrows here to show it goes infinity. And that's it. Let's try slope-intercept form now. So for slope-intercept form, I want the x in front. So I'm going to change this to y equals minus x plus 2. Because now b, that's the y-intercept, that's just 2. So I go to the y-axis, I go to 2, right there's the y-intercept. Then from there, I can think of negative x as negative 1x, same thing, or even negative 1x over 1, still the same thing. But now I can call this rise over run. So rise is negative 1, run is 1. And I can go to that y-intercept, and normally I would rise 1, run 1. But since it's negative, I need to go down 1, run 1. From there, down 1, run 1. You can keep going, down 1, run 1. And all these points are on our line. And it's the same line as we got before for y equals 2 minus x. That's it. That's how you do it. This is Dr. B graphing the equation y equals 2 minus x, or you could call it y equals minus x plus 2. Thanks for watching.